Good afternoon, Indonesia and South Korea. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is very delightful to welcome you all here today to the virtual conferment ceremony to appoint Professor Pan Suk Kim as an adjunct professor at the Faculty of Administrative Science, Universitas Indonesia. Please allow me to warmly welcome Professor Pan Suk Kim, our honorable adjunct professor, the Dean of Faculty of Administrative Science, Universitas Indonesia, Professor Dr. Eko Prasojo, the Deputy Deans of Faculty of Administrative Science, Faculty Management Directors and Head of Public Administration Study Program, Faculty, Faculty of Administrative Sciences, Universitas Indonesia, Dr. Roy Falian Salomo, Secretary of Postgraduate Programs, Faculty of Administrative Sciences, Universitas Indonesia, Dr. Teguh Kurniawan, and Staff of International Affairs of Yonsei University, Ms. Wendy Lee. My name is Galu Nirukti Sangadi. I am a first year student at the Faculty of Administrative Science, Universitas Indonesia, and I am very proud to serve you all here as Master of Ceremony for today's important event. Before we proceed, please allow me to briefly inform you about the outline of today's virtual conferment ceremony. Before we proceed, we will watch a short video profile to the Faculty of Administrative Sciences, Universitas Indonesia. Afterwards, Dean Eko Prasojo will deliver his welcoming speech and then followed by another short video to introduce our special and honorable guest, Professor Pan Suk Kim. Following the video, we will conduct the inauguration ceremony to officially appoint Professor Pan Suk Kim as an adjunct professor at the Faculty of Administrative Science, Universitas Indonesia. Later on, we will be hearing an inaugural speech by Professor Pan Suk Kim. And finally, we will be holding a group photo session together. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let us begin today's virtual conferment ceremony. To start off, we would like to present to you a video profile of the Faculty of Administrative Science, Universitas Indonesia. Please enjoy. In every organization, changes and policies require important instruments to maintain the organization's existence and sustainability in the midst of rapid global changes. In this regard, the administrative science act as pivotal instrument to study, measure, control, and formulate better directions. And the Faculty of Administrative Science, Universitas Indonesia, is ready to produce excellent human resources who will be able to play vital roles in an organization. Currently, Faculty of Administrative Science, Universitas Indonesia has three departments, namely Public Administration, Business Administration, and Fiscal Administration. Public Administration Students in this program are prepared to become an excellent human resource in understanding the issue and development of governance and analyze various policies to deal with national, regional, as well as global challenges. Fiscal Administration This program aims to create a capable human resource to understand tax policies and administration, as well as micro and macro taxation. Business Administration This program prepares students to meet challenges through the development of strategic leadership, management, entrepreneurship, and nurturing the innovative mindset to increase individual competitiveness in facing national, regional, and global challenges. Faculty of Administrative Science Universitas Indonesia establishes international collaboration with reputable institutions in terms of research, inbound and outbound lecturers or students, executive development programs, and double degree programs, including The presence of Faculty of Administrative Science Universitas Indonesia is one of the pillars of education that will not only produce graduates with specific knowledge in the fields of administration, but also be able to become role model for other administrative faculties in Indonesia and the world. Thank you so much for watching our truly informative video. Moving along, to open today's ceremony, I would like to call upon the Dean of Faculty of Administrative Science, Professor Dr. Eko Prasojo. Professor, you have the spotlight. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon in Jakarta and also in uh, Korea. Yeah? Distinguished Professor Pan Su Kim, uh, former president of International Institute of Administrative Science, the prominent professor in the field of public administrations. Thank you very much for accepting our uh, invitation to become adjunct professor. Uh, and becoming a family, big family of our faculty and university. Uh, Miss Wendy Lee, head up at, at International Affairs, Yonsei University, and colleague from Yonsei University, all my colleague from the Faculty of Administrative Science, Universitas Indonesia, uh, Dr. Roy Salomo, uh, Dr. Retno Kusumasuti, Uh, Dr. Reza Baturrahman, who is responsible for arranging this uh, program. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Universitas Indonesia, I'm privileged and honored to welcome you all today to this very special events to inaugurate Professor Pan Su Kim as an adjunct professor at the Faculty of Administrative Science, Universitas Indonesia. The complement of adjunct professor title to Professor Pan Su Kim is the highest appreciations from UNITAS Indonesia given to a distinguished professor based on his outstanding contribution in the global development of administrative sciences and in promoting knowledge <coughs> transfer and exchange in managing administrative reform uh, between Indonesia and South Korea. This award is also the very first time of its kind awarded by our faculty, a <coughs> new faculty at the University of Indonesia. <coughs> Professor Pan Su Kim, in my eyes, is a charismatic and inspired, inspirational figure who is always highly motivated to collaborate. I personally met him for the first time during the Asian Public Management Forum held in Seoul back 2005. This forum was the early foundation that forms today's AAP, ASEAN Association for Public Administrations. Since then, we become a good friends for about 15 years now. Uh, we wrote a book chapter together on uh, civil, uh, civil service reform in, in, in ASEAN in 2019, I think, and uh, also Uh, several books on civil service reform. And last year, I was really fortunate to get invited to deliver the Bribon Lecture to 2019, organized by IIAS at the same stage where Professor Pan Su Kim stood three years earlier. So in this regard, he is my role model. Last year, we were really grateful to have him as one of the three keynote speakers for the presidential lecture 2019 held by the Indonesian governments in front of more than 6,000 newly recruited civil servants. What a productive years of friendship, actually. Today, I'm really glad to bring uh, this good friendship and partnerships further by welcoming him as an honorable member of Faculty of Administrative Science, who is Big family. Quoting former UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, education give us a profound understanding that we are tied together a citizen of the global community and that our challenges are interconnected. Embracing the spirit of global partnership, we look forward to pursuing further excellence. Collaboration with you and colleague at Yonsei University and also colleague from Korea is very uh, productive and very uh, useful for our collaborations in next years. So welcome, Professor Pan Su Kim, to FIA, who is big family. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Professor, thank you so much for your speech. Truly a positive beginning to this important event. 
Next up, we would like to introduce Professor Pan Suk Kim through this video we have prepared for you. Please take a look. Thank you so much for watching the video. Everyone can clap. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to proceed to the main agenda, the inauguration ceremony. Adjunct professor is an honorable academic degree awarded by Universitas Indonesia for individual <laughs> distinguished professors who are considered meritorious and highly productive in supporting the development of science and mutual collaboration between Universitas Indonesia and their affiliated universities. At this moment, the Faculty of Administrative Science is delighted to inaugurate Professor Pan Suk Kim as an adjunct professor as a recognition of his significant contribution. On behalf of Universitas Indonesia, Professor Eko Prasojo will present a certificate to Professor Pan Suk Kim. The certificate will mark the initial journey of Professor Pan Suk Kim as an adjunct professor at the Faculty of Administrative Science. Universitas Indonesia. Professor Pansukim, on behalf of the Universitas of Indonesia, I would like to give you appreciation and appointment as a young professor at the Faculty of Administrative Science, Universitas of Indonesia. Thank you very much for becoming our friend, our family, and hope that we can collaborate each other in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your very friendly suggestion and uh, wonderful certificates of being as a professor at the University of Indonesia. Many thanks. Thank you very much. Professor Panso Kim, I would like to extend my congratulations for the appointment. Uh, continuing to the next agenda, our newest adjunct professor will deliver his inaugural speech. Ladies and gentlemen, Please join me in welcoming Professor Pan Suk Kim. Thank you. I hope uh, you can see uh, my video. Do you see it? Yes. Uh, PPT. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is really a great honor for me. As Professor Echo uh, Prasoza said, our friendship began many years ago uh, in Korea, in IIAS, Asian Association, in UN, in many places. We met together and we 
discussed how to develop, how to promote public administration, not only in Asia, but also in the world. So I really appreciate your uh, very friendly and honorable uh, gesture of uh, being an Ezang professor at the greatest university in Indonesia, University of uh, Indonesia. Uh, as Dean Echo mentioned, uh, I have here a nice photo uh, as my souvenir. Uh, two ministers in Korea and Indonesia signed MOU in 2018. President Joko Widodo visited uh, South Korea in September 2018 and uh, Minister uh, Shafruddin and myself, we signed MOU for possible collaboration between two countries in presence of two presidents. As you see behind uh, Minister Shafruddin, uh, President Chokowi is standing behind him and behind me, uh, President Moon Jae-in uh, stand behind me. So in the presence of two presidents, in the office of the president, we signed MOU. That means that more collaboration uh, will take place between two countries, particularly in the area of human resource management, public personnel systems, human resource development, etc. cetera. So uh, this is a really important uh, turning point between two countries in terms of public personnel administration. Since then, as Dean Echo mentioned, I was invited by Indonesian governments as well as uh, support from Dean Echo uh, and many other friends. So I was able to go there in July last year. So 2018, we had MOU. 2019, I attended in the capacity of a former Minister of Personnel Management. And when I was there, the president actually, Joko Widodo, uh, supposed to come, but at the last minute, he had a very important matter so that Vice President Yusuf Kala came to uh, Istora Senayan, which is, uh, I think, big supports uh, complex. And he gave public uh, lecture for nearly over 6,000 new civil servants uh, from 78 different ministries and uh, many different provinces as well as local governments. And the three speakers we were myself, and uh, Minister Bambang, uh, who was at that time, I think, National Development Planning uh, Minister and uh, uh, Director of Opening and Closing Ceremony of uh, Asian Game, uh, Mr. Washinutama. Now I think he is a Minister of Tourism. So three gentlemen delivered a lecture there. I think it was the biggest, biggest, uh, you know, teaching in my whole life in front of uh, approximately 7,000 people. It's, it was amazing in my life. So it was a very honorable, uh, unforgettable uh, event for my whole life. So I really appreciate my Indonesian colleagues and friends and support and invitation. Now let's uh, briefly think about our environment. Our environment is changing very rapidly. Coronavirus really changed our daily life. Non-face-to-face -face or untacked trend is increasing. Telecommuting commuting is very uh, common now. A virtual workplace like this, we have more and more virtual meetings. I think it's a new normal era now. I think I have more meetings than before. Almost every week, I have a call for a meeting, virtual meeting from school, from university, from government and overseas. So almost every week, I have more virtual meetings. Sometimes 
I'm a little bit tired in doing that. But I guess that's really uh, showing new trend. I think we are living in new normal. That means that I think it's a new opportunity for all of us. We don't need to spend expensive travel money anymore. Simply connect each other, have virtual meeting from all over the world, particularly Indonesian context. Indonesia is the largest island country with over 17,000 islands. So physically, you have some limitation because you have so many islands. But now virtually, no problem. Virtually, if you have a meeting, virtual meetings, I think distance, physical distance doesn't, uh, you know, uh, it shouldn't be any problem anymore. And also we can promote as island smart government, collaborative governance issues, reform at all times. I think workforce is also changing to be smaller, grayer, more women and much more diverse and inclusive. In my classroom, when I was a public administration student in 1970s, in my class, no female students in public administration class, zero public administration student, female student. But now 60% of my class, they are women student, 60%. So it's a really diverse and inclusive. And also uh, we see new trend, more demands for better performance, but austerity, meaning that declining financial resources. So that every place with some paradoxical situation, we have to do more with less, we have to do better with less, which is somewhat paradoxical, yeah. So in that regard, I think best way we can cope with such challenges would be collaborating each other, collaborating each other. I think in the past, Korean government paid a lot of attention to European and American states, but now our government trying to pay much more attention to ASEAN member countries in the name of a new Southern policy. So we really want to work with more ASEAN member countries. Now, potential areas of collaboration might be three uh, areas or three dimension, country-based, university-based, or research-based. So I think these three areas, let me uh, briefly say a few words on each dimension. Country-based collaboration. Between Dean Echo and myself, we had a lot of conversation how to collaborate each other. When he was vice minister of Mempan, he also uh, invited me. So we met a few times how to promote collaboration between two countries. At that time, one of the issue was training program. So our discussion go back to when he was vice minister. After that, I became Minister of Personnel Management. So I delivered this idea to the president of COICA. And I met actually President COICA a couple of times, deliberately, and asked the president, we need a training program for Indonesian public officials supported by COICA. And uh, the original reaction was very positive, but in terms of administrative process, it took some, some time. So during my uh, government service, I formally requested this idea to COICA and then it took some internal process authorization. Then this year, COICA approved this program and then uh, MEMPAN and uh, uh, our training institute, which is NHI. NHI means that National HLD Institute under the Ministry of Personnel Management. So MEMPAN and NHI worked together and recruited a number of uh, uh, public officials. Originally, they supposed to come to Korea next week. 
Uh, but because of COVID-19, they couldn't come. So uh, the first batch of this training program will start next Monday, which is November 2nd, for two weeks. So for this uh, particular training program, uh, I will deliver keynote speech for this first batch. And then this program will be continued. I think this is very important new step between two countries in terms of formal uh, government official training program for, for Indonesian public officials. It's, it's not a mixed program. This program is only for Indonesian public officials. And we will have first batch starting from next Monday, November 2nd for two weeks. Originally I said they should come to Korea but if situation is getting better, next year uh, program may be held in Seoul in Korea. So they can come to this program. And uh, who is coordinating this program? Uh, I'm sure Dean Echo, you know that Mr. Adi Mustafa. Adi Mustafa is coordinating this program. So I really hope that encourage you to encourage him to take care of this program. If this program going very well, this will be continuously uh, delivered. So let's say we assume this program continued for 10 years and 20 years, then we can see lots of uh, you know, good cooperative developments between two governments. For this program, you can recruit officials from different ministry or different agencies, come to Korea, to dialogue each other between government officials in Indonesia and Korea. I think this will be good opportunity and good venue uh, between two countries. So I'm very excited to have this uh, new program. So this is one of one tangible uh, uh, program and uh, another window would be bilateral or multilateral cooperation based on ASEAN platform. ASEAN has 10 member countries, but we have ASEAN plus three. So 13 countries, including China, Japan, and Korea, we can promote multilateral cooperation. And also we can share both countries' experience on public sector reform, civil service reform, and many others. So I'm very excited to see a new training program for Indonesian public officials supported by COICA at the held at National HLD Institute under the Ministry of Personnel Management. And this is an organization chart of the Ministry of Personnel Management, which I uh, directed this agency for a couple of years. And Ministry of Personnel Management in Korea, this is uh, holistic you know, agency in the area of uh, human resource management from recruitment to retirement and pension. Almost everything, almost everything human resource management. One big agency in dealing with recruitment and selection, promotion, training, compensation, retirement, discipline, ethics, and pension. Everything almost in human resource management. And under this ministry, we have two affiliated organizations, National HLD Institute, which is training institute. Previously, we called it COTI, C-O-T-I, but we changed the name now, NHI. And also we have appeals commission. And then uh, we have public organization uh, under the name of government employee pension service. So pension is also part of our uh, policy function. So under ministry, we have a pension service as well. So it's a really a comprehensive HR organization in Korea. And we have Office of International Cooperation, as you see here, and the National HLD Institute, which is uh, responsible for training. A second base, university-based collaboration. 
Uh, if Professor Echo uh, Prosojo comes to Korea, we can arrange special lecture for him. Or if I go to uh, Jakarta, a similar kind of setting can be done, or short-term teaching might be considered too. But today I'd like to emphasize one, one more thing here, education of graduate students. Currently, currently we are recruiting graduate students for MPA or PhD in public administration. And application deadline starting from this Friday, October 30, this Friday to next Friday. So uh, it's just one week. And uh, if we admit a student from University of Indonesia, Dean Echo, recommend to me one student as a start. Recommend to me one student and he or she can apply from October 30 to next Friday, which is November 6. So time is very short. Please recommend one person. If this person is admitted, our department may offer tuition as well as living stipend, monthly stipend. So money is not a problem here. Money is not a problem. So if you recommend competent one student to us and uh, we can uh, review it. And once admitted, tuition and stipend might be offered. So that might be good start between two universities. Uh, we don't require very you know, high you know, uh, standard because we believe students of University of Indonesia might be good. We trust you. So, only official qualification would be a certificate of graduation or you know, transcript. So if our semester, usually uh, next year we start first day of March. So our schedule is starting in March 1st to middle of June, that's first semester. And then we have a uh, summer vacation, then September 1st to middle of December, we have fall semester. And then January, February would be winter vacation. That's our typical uh, schedule. So a students or former graduates ready to study sometime in March 1st next year, he or she can apply for master degree or doctoral degree. One student, please. Yeah. Thank you, Professor Pansukim. Yeah, and uh, research-based collaboration, of course, we are serious professors. We are serious on research issues, book project, research articles, etc. And also in the beginning, uh, you know, uh, Professor Roy asked me, how is the coronavirus situation in Korea? Yeah, we can have this kind of dialogue through webinars. Maybe you can organize a webinar and I can or my colleague can present Korean experience on dealing with COVID-19. So that's another area of uh, research-based collaboration. Yeah. And also, uh, as all of you know, uh, Professor Roy and other faculty members are active, but particularly Dean Echo, Prasoja is very active, not only in the Asian region, rest of the world. He studied in Germany, traveled many countries. So likewise, we work together for a number of regional and international communities. He is currently president of ACPA, Asian Group for Public Administration and the IAS. I was president of IIAS, AAPA, and we worked together for Europa, and he was a member of a UN SEPA, and I was a member too. And now I am currently international director of ASPA as well. So for next year, 
April, ASPA will have a conference, and we decided to have it as a virtual conference. So for virtual conference, maybe Dean Echo, you may organize one Indonesian, one or two Indonesian panel, a complete Indonesian panel, and submit it to ASPA. And we don't need to travel. Good thing is we don't need to travel. Yeah. So you can participate as for conference as well. So there are lots of opportunity uh, in working together for regional or international venues. Uh, finally, we are serious scholars. You know, we are very interested in promoting the quality of public administration in Asia. How to demonstrate the high quality of public administration in Asia. I think we have to pay to three different areas, public administration education, public administration research, and public administration practice. So we have to demonstrate in all three areas, not just one area, but in three areas, public administration education, research, and practice. Faculty of Administrative Science and uh, our College of Government Business looks very similar. You have public administration in our college, in your faculty, and business administration and fiscal administration. In our College of uh, Government and Business, we have almost the same thing. We have public administration department, business administration division, economics, and uh, international relations. So we can work together. So education is one area. Another area is research, publishing books, high quality journal articles, and then high quality of public administration in government, which is practice. So education, research and practice, this all three areas are improving in the future on the name of, uh, you know, I call it a Trinity model a Trinity model, education, research, and practice in fostering excellence in three areas. I think we can demonstrate a high quality of Asian public administration. We can compete with Western public administration. Yes, we can compete with Western public administration. We caught, according to Smith, according to Samuel, we usually court many Western scholars, but in the future, maybe Galu can court, according to Professor Echo, according to Professor Kim, she and can court more Asian researchers and faculties in her research papers. So I think if we can force excellence in three different areas, I think we can demonstrate high quality of public administration in Asia. And I think we can compete with Western public administration. Thank you very much. Terima kasih. Thank you, Professor Pansukim. Thank you. Very nice <laughs> presentation and speech. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you may uh, press the reaction clapping button if you want to. <laughs> sure, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Professor, for your motivating speech, as well as sharing your wonderful experience and amazing programs. Now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we will be hearing some congratulatory words. I call upon Dr. Reza Fatur Rahman, Head of International Office, to moderate the session. Okay, so thank you very much, uh, Nurul, uh, sorry, Galo. Uh, so congratulations to Professor Pansu Kim. That was a very enlightening uh, speech that you have. Of course, this is uh, the time where the Asian scholars should contribute more and more in the literatures, especially in public administration fields of science. 
Uh, I would like to call uh, our head of departments, as so our head of public administration departments, uh, Dr. Roy Valian Salamo. Would you like to uh, say some few words to congratulate Professor Pansukim? Please, Pak Roy. Thank you, Reza. Well, Professor Pansun Kim, we are, we are honored to have you as a member of our professorship in uh, our faculty, in our department of public administration. You know that um, in Indonesia, among the uh, scholars in public administration, amongst all these distinguished university in Indonesia, we always try to show people, hey, I know Professor Pansun Kim. We are very proud if we know you, you know. So now you are part of our team. So thank you so much uh, for being with us. I know that your contribution is um, tremendous in this, um, in this um, topic in, in public administration. And uh, we really, I, I really, really uh, believe that uh, in the future, you can contribute more and also we can collaborate uh, to each other more. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pat Roy. Perhaps I would like to call our Vice Dean, Dr. Retno. Would you like to say some few words also for our new young professor, so Professor Pansukim, please, Maretno. Mas Reja ditembak. <laughs> okay, Professor Pansukim, hi. Hi. To be honest, I'm really happy. Uh, walaupun, although I'm not part of uh, business ad, uh, public administration, I'm uh, my background is for uh, from business administration, but but I'm really happy to have you as uh, our member. Yeah in our faculty. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And per perhaps uh, Professor Hawala Rosdiana would like to also congratulate Professor Pansukim. Prof Hawala? I think she's here. Hi, <laughs> sorry, sir. Okay, please, Professor Hawala. Professor Pan Su Kim. Hi. Ah, sorry. Uh, okay. Sorry, the connection is uh, not so good. Yeah. Uh, welcome to faculty. Uh, welcome. Yeah, okay, as I can see you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Faculty of Administrative Science, yeah. Uh, 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 we hope uh, we can collaborate more with uh, you. And thank you so much uh, for our cooperation. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we are really glad that we have here as so Miss Wendy Lee from Yonsei University, from the Office of International Affairs. Would you like to say something, please, Ms. Uh, Ms. Lee? Okay, hello, hello everyone. Uh, I'm very glad to meet you. So, and uh, thank you for uh, the invitation of this uh, ceremony. And I'm very happy to join this ceremony. And um, uh, I look forward to the good relations uh, between uh, universities in Indonesia and our university. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Lee, for coming. I think that's all so for today. So back to you, Galu, for our photo session. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to all the speakers for your heartwarming words. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now be holding a photo session. Uh, please turn your video cameras on and follow my instructions. Thank you. Uh, I repeat, for those who can, please turn on your video cameras. Uh, 
we will begin with the first page. Uh, can everyone on the first page prepare themselves, prepare their poses and their smiles? Thank you. Three, two, one. Say fia u i. Thank you. And now for the second page. Uh, can everyone on the second page please prepare their video cameras on? Thank you. Uh, we will begin in three, two, one. Say fia u i. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone. Distinguished professors, that was the end of our photo sessions. Distinguished professors, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for attending our conferment ceremony today. As it has ended, it is time we bid you adieu. Have a nice day and we hope to see you next time. Sampai jumpa and annyeong hi kaseyo. Oh, Carlo, excellent. Good, good job, Carlo. Excellent Thank job. Thank you very Excellent. much, Professor Bansuki, Miss Lee. Yeah. Thank you very much, Professor Echo. Stay healthy. Yeah. Thank yes. you. Stay healthy. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you very I much. I hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Wendy. See you again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. 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 Yeah, really nice. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Lee. Keep in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep in touch. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Miss Lee. Baik, terima kasih. Terima kasih banyak, Prof. Eko, Mbak Retno, Prof. Paula, Mas Reza, Pak Roy, Mas Ican. Terima kasih, Galuh, Debi, lagi nih. Siva, terima kasih banyak yang sudah berpartisipasi.